here is the eye. We can first see the lacrimal gland up here. Then here is the superior rectus muscle. Here is the lateral rectus muscle. Here is the medial rectus muscle. And then underneath, we have the inferior rectus muscle. And then right over here, we have the inferior oblique muscle. Then if we look up here, we have the tendon of the superior oblique muscle. Right here, we can see the white, that is the sclera. This outer covering right here is the cornea. In the very center, you can see the pupil. We take that off. You can still see the pupil here, and then this coloring around it, which is called the iris. We take that off, we can see the lens behind it. This whole portion right here is depicting the vitreous body. And if we remove that, this yellow orange portion is the retina. And this red layer right behind it is the choroid. And we can also see this muscle on both sides. This is the ciliary muscle. On the eye model, we can see the optic nerve in here going up towards the back of the eye. And at this point where it reaches the back of the eye is where we're going to have the optic disc. So if I open up this model, where we would have the optic disc is right here. And this is again where the optic nerve is going to come up to the back of the eye. This would be a bright orange shaped disc. We can actually see on this model, here's the optic nerve, and we can see half of that optic disc right here. Then we have the macula lutea and the fovea centralis. The macula lutea is this halo shape right here, this yellow that I'm circling. And then in the very center of that circle where it's back to this orange color, that is the fovea centralis. So if I give you a drawing, A very enlarged view of this, you can see the macula lutea, which on the model was that yellow halo shape. And inside of there, the darker area, is the fovea centralis.